means if this holds, they'll have to play on the road to start the 2021 postseason. Rebounds per game. That's eighth in the NBA, and he's a point guard. Ajimura knocks down the foul line jumper. Wash three in that game and ended up falling to the Spurs in overtime. Here's Schroeder to the goal. So they isolate Schroeder on the right-hand side of the floor, just let him go. And Caldwell Pope took a shot to the head, was very slow to get up the floor, and just sort of watched that offensive possession. Bank shot goes for Westbrook. And averaging 23 points per game. He was around 20 points per game prior to the All-Star break. Kuzma lobs it up there for Drummond. I don't know if he mistimed his jump or what, but he came up short, but he does score on the second try. Here's Kuzma, finds the cutter. Davis with the throwdown. Now Kuzma coming off a game where he's four for six from three, so it's good basketball. Cassidy Hubbard can add. Cass? Yeah, Kyle Kuzma was asked about, you know, the Lakers' bigs rotation and Montrez Harrell having his playing time diminished. A real bright spot so far for the Lakers, Dave. And, and you just watch him. He's doing a lot of talking, much more communicating on the defensive end. Here's Beal in the paint. Such an excellent mid-range player early in his... Now you can put him wherever you want on the floor, and he's a threat to score it. Scott Brooks said when he got here, that's one of the things he wanted to see, and he has seen as... Kuzma gets past Len, and a blocking foul, so count the basket. Went 8-0 in the bubble. I know they added Chris Paul, who's in the MVP conversation, but you have to think that time spent together has a big impact as Beal scores again counted by Bertans. Bertans has had a great month of April, shooting 14 points per game. Here's Len in the lane. Westbrook getting an early breather here. Drummond. Boy, he was hammered. He put it in, and he was knocked to the floor by Alex Len, his second foul already. From the top of the key, what do you do with Montrez in the playoffs? I think that all has to be dictated probably by matchups as Bradley Beal, the leading scorer in the NBA, is already cooking with gas. He's got nine. Neto gets past Kuzma on the baseline, and Drummond altering that shot. Horton Tucker, excellent pass and stride to AD for the stop. For, for a guy who's been around, everywhere I feel like Ish Smith has been, he's been so rock solid. 11 teams in 11 years as Harrell scores inside. 28 points in there, two for seven at the free throw line. They could already be above 30 outside two minutes to go in the first. Westbrook goes to the left hand, flips it up and in, and one. As McLemore thought he was drawing a foul, and then he slipped on the floor as he tried to get back up. So numbers for Washington. Oh, my! Hutchison! The rim will feel that one tomorrow. My goodness. And in the West, same could be said for Steph Curry. Looks like the way things are going, they'll be in the play-in tournament. You want to try to beat Steph Curry twice in that situation? Harrell finishing through contact. No foul. Seven from out there. Hutchison hangs and finishes. Another beautiful play by Hutchison. Robin Lopez and scored over him or around him. Ten on the... A 10 in the game, 6 in the quarter for Harold and Hachimura comes back and scores on the other end. He's got 6 or 1 of 8 from 3-point land and Westbrook throwing it the length of the floor to Hachimura. Now Westbrook with an 18-footer that's good. Russell Westbrook with 7 points, 4 rebounds. Player here with the Wizards from 2016 to 2019. Beal weaving through traffic. What a sweet move. Cut past Kuzma. 5 for 5 from the field. Lopez in traffic makes the catch and the slam. Where it is, you got to get your conditioning back pretty quick. Lopez inside scores again. Robin Lopez having an excellent first half off the bench. And the absence of Harden, the absence of LeBron James, those things impact the MVP race as uh, Beal scores. And they they missed more than they played. They started 0-5, right. and then there were six straight games in January that got postponed. As Bradley Beal scores again in the mid-range, boy, is he fun to watch. Take it at anybody, which we saw a couple times earlier in transition. Schroeder with the defender on his hip, kicks it out to Kuzma. His three is good. Two threes here in the closing moments of the half for Kyle Kuzma. Here's Westbrook with four. Pull-up jumper is good for Russ with five-tenths of a second left. 
So the Wizards put up 61 points. You wonder, you know, all those years with John Wall, they, they did have a couple of good runs in the playoffs, but you know, a lot of people, there was a lot of noise. You know, is it time for one to be moved to make a change? And it took almost 50 games for, their, for them to find their rhythm, but they've got it right now. This is a uh, team that looks yeah. totally transformed. Westbrook with a great look it's as Len cut back. To Shot clock at five. Schroeder finds a cutting Drummond, puts it up and in with the left hand. And another game against the Clippers at Staples. Oh, my goodness. Rui Hachimura against Anthony Davis, who got the worst of that. I hesitated to go on a break. I thought that left hand might have been leading the way. Davis comes back and knocks down the shot, but I, I agree with you. And, and that now, Rui draws the assignment. Let's see do they look to play through Anthony Davis here. They go down to Drummond underneath. He's fouled, and he'll go to the line with Hachimura picking up the personal. The, the fewest number of games he played for an entire season was 55, and that was when he had the groin injury in his first year in L.A., and they missed the playoffs. He's only played in 41. Frank Vogel, as Drummond scores, reminded us. That 69 points for the Los Angeles Lakers. As Russell again gets to his mid-range, just shoots over the top. Is a great player, but he doesn't elevate the Lakers in the win-loss and the win column the way LeBron James has. 5 of 12 from the floor. He was 4 of 6. Neto gets into the paint and scores over the outstretched arm of AD. Only have 34 points since. Another miss. Washington in transition. Beals 3 is there. His second triple. 18 points. Wizards by 15. I get ahead of myself. I've thought that before and then they'll go on a losing streak. Here's McLemore for three. It's good. That ends a scoreless drought of four minutes to go here in the third. Washington is at 27 and 34, but 10 and 2 in their last 12. Beal hangs and finishes against Harrell. Every time. Test quite often in that couple of day stretch. We appreciate what he does. Burt does a great job in so many different sports. Just 42 points since the first quarter. Westbrook inside Gafford puts it in very good in the bubble last year but has not had a great regular season for the Lakers offensively Hutchison off the bounce puts it up and in McLemore misses the three where is the offense going to come from there's no defense coming from the Lakers they get a breakaway dunk from Smith averaging 11 rebounds per game triple double 30 not, not, times, four times in the last five years, averaging. Before I get myself in trouble, not that I'm suggesting all media members are... And we're not blaming the media, it's just that Russ... It's not something that Russ enjoys as much as some other players do, as uh, Schroeder finally gets one to go. A little bit of a window open, can they capitalize? Caldwell Pope drives, and Davis with the easy dunk, and the Lakers got it back to 14. Beal, step back. On target and on cue from DB. I say we go right back to Bradley Beal. So they run the same set. Little screen and roll, good switch. Ends up in the hands of Russ and Westbrook cans the triple, his first three of the night. Like it was going down, but spun out at the last second. Westbrook scores and fouled. He just doesn't stop. Here's Beal, timer down to five, using the screen from Neto. Got McLemore on a switch. Shot clock at two. Step back three for Beal. On the money. Swishes home for Bradley Beal. Who do you like? Who do you like? And even after watching them win the title last year in the bubble, I was still thinking if Brooklyn's healthy, I love Brooklyn. The 36 and 26. They've lost four of their last five. Washington has won 11 of its last 13.